Hi there, today we're lucky enough to have had Sophie Budd cooking with us and we've made some beautiful pasta dishes that will all appear on the inside of Bub and you might see a few teasers here and there. Mm -hmm. And I just thought it would be really nice to talk to Sophie about her professional career and where mm -hmm. you are now and all the amazing things you're doing with the homeless, feeding the homeless. And yeah. I know you cook with Jamie Oliver in his 15 years mm. and that was sort of your training ground pretty much wasn't it? It was actually I was 25, 26 mm. so I've been I've been working in kitchens for 10 years by then but um, by that time I was getting a bit tired of working in restaurants and I was a head chef several times and I hadn't really found my real passion mm -hmm. so when I went to work for him he was just opening 15 Cornwall and um, I got put on pasta section and I would made pasta once in my life <laughs> never made gnocchi and whenever I did risotto people would send them back so I was like <laughs> it was a good start <laughs> <laughs> not the right I even said to the head chef I'm not the right person for this mm. I'll go on any other section mm. and um, they gave me he had about seven cookbooks at the time and they gave me a stack of books and he said go home and learn and the restaurant opened a week later so and you were serving your pasta a week later yeah oh mm. that, was that terrifying uh, I, it was, I'd say it's the hardest. Those first three months, it was a completely new build. We didn't get in the restaurant until like two days before it wasn't even built. And then to, to, to be cooking and then teaching the trainees alongside you. And was that being filmed? Was that part of that series? We that weren't did? filmed. No, I think okay. they filmed at the opening for the Melbourne yeah. show. Um, but no, it was a few years into his 15 project. and. Um, so yeah, the, the trainees would come in in all sorts of in emotional states and hungover or whatever. And, and, um, Can doing... you just explain what the 15 project was? So Jamie, um, it started with um, 15 students. So they took 15 um, at-risk youth. So between, I think it was um, 16 and 24. And they put them into a traineeship um, working with the chefs at 15 London. Um, to become chefs in a very short space of time. So a year in the restaurant, they do time at college as well. And, um, and so I was, um, I was at the 15 Cornwall um, restaurant. And um, it was, it, we started with 21 because they realized that 15, the dropout rate, if you start with 15, you end up with not many. Yeah. So we yeah. started with 21 and we graduated nine. And um, for me, it was the first time I fell in love with Italian cooking. We had, you know, like wooden crates of artichokes coming over from Italy. And, and I discovered local produce, what was really happening in Cornwall, and also teaching someone to cook and being able to see the difference you could make in someone's life. Mm -hmm. And also the, the, um, the kitchen and how it, stuff just happens and works when you put humans under pressure. Mm -hmm. um, and, um, and yeah, seeing those trainees graduate was, it was a really proud moment. And then I was straight over here. Um, I've been wanting to come here for a long time. So did you come to move to Australia or did you come to, for a short time job and um, here you are? I told my mum <laughs> a year in Australia, a year in New Zealand. Mm -hmm. And that was 14 years ago. And I've never <laughs> been to New Zealand. <laughs> <laughs> and you won't be going for a while. But. <laughs> I don't think. Yeah. And so you started off in Sydney, you were saying? Yeah, my yeah. auntie and uncle lived there. Oh, okay. Yeah. And my first job was in a seafood restaurant in Manly, and they had a wood-fired oven with gas injection. Mm -hmm. And I did a 14-hour shift, and I melted. Oh. I, was, I was such a pom, and <laughs> I said, I, just, I didn't come here for this. You know, I'm looking out at beautiful Manly, and I'm just stuck in the kitchen. So I went to work in a cafe, and that cafe did catering in Mosman all these beautiful houses and people and I was like, wow, they're serving tiny food. It's just not a thing in Cornwall. Um, or, you know, maybe in England around, you know, the richer areas, but, you know, having canapes is just a really bizarre yeah, who does that? thing. Eat real food. <laughs> they're all on diet. That's the problem. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, I had one friend in Perth, Leah, and mm -hmm. she said, come and visit me. And I got on a plane. And I just thought, I, I actually thought I was going to another country. I was checking my tickets, well. <laughs> <laughs> thinking it can't be that far away. Yeah. I was in the air forever and got here and it was just a sunny day. And then I knew as soon as I landed here, I was where you I wanted to home. be. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's good. That's yeah. awesome. And then was it 2012 you opened uh, your cooking school? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I opened, I was teaching at another cooking school and wanted to do my own. So 2012 to two years ago, so yeah, mm. uh, 20, and um, and yeah, started just doing cooking classes, then I started doing team building, mm. 
catering and just had this big kitchen, had teams of up to 25 cooking at once in there. And um, it was awesome, I'm so glad I did it, but the, towards the end I just got tired and run down. And yeah, I just um, luckily find someone to take over my lease just before COVID. So. Yeah, and so that's <laughs> what I was going to say. So just before COVID you made the determination mm. that you were finishing and then... Yeah. Look what happened. So My mum thinks I'm psychic. Time is <laughs> everything. Amazing. Yeah. So, so what have you been doing since? I know you've been really busy. Well, I guess there's sort of three things. I'm mobile. I've got a big van with all my gear. Um, I do catering. I stopped doing weddings. Um, so I just do sort of you know, backyard parties mm. and events. Um, I do the team building where I get rescued fruit and vegetables from Second Bite. Mm. Plunk them in front of teams from Rio, BHP. Mm -hmm give them two hours to cook it with pantry ingredients and watch the chaos unfold. <laughs> That'd um, be fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's amazing. And they're just blunt because a lot of them don't know what they're there for. And I say, oh. you have to cook all that and it History has to box. taste good. Yeah. And I'm going to judge you. Yeah. And, um, and so, but that's the thing. Kitchen um, people, everyone works out what they're doing, the hierarchy. There's a head chef and... And two hours later, it is a miracle. This you food, do have food is amazing. Yeah, wow. Yeah, and then you give them guidance, though. You give we them... have to. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I have a team of chefs that are always okay. like hovering over and helping yeah. get things cooked in time. Yeah. And then they can eat or not eat. Some of them just have a little nibble and um, bring a beer, mm. and then the rest of the food goes to Tramby, which is mm. um, a homeless centre in um, Northridge. Yeah, mm. fabulous. So you've been doing that this whole time for two years. Um, yeah, I've been doing Tramby for probably three years now. Yeah. yeah. So last year, I think it was 6,000 meals we made in yeah, team wow. building. Yeah. Oh, so you literally do it in team building and then pass and it on. Yeah, straight, straight over there. there. Wow. Mm. Yeah. So the chefs that work with you, where are they coming from? I've got they've all got other jobs. Interesting selection, yeah, because yeah. everything I do is a bit ad hoc. So I've got a couple of chefs who are friends who still work on the mine. So when they're back, they'll work. Mm -hmm. It, yeah, mixture. I had um, Chongi, who's um, a good friend of mine. He's been with me for the last sort of 18 months and come up to Carnarvon with me to do the Gascoigne. And yeah, we've mm. been we did a long table in a shearing shed in Kojana. Mm -hmm. Um He definitely says it's the most interesting job he's had because mm. we just get in the van and we go, go. and yeah. rock up in strange places and uh, cook with whatever they have. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's real fun. cooking. <laughs> yeah. None of this nice kitchen. I know. Pull out of the room. I know. <laughs> that's real mm, cooking. Yeah. Oh, fabulous. So, um, what have you got coming up? What's your What's your future looking like? I don't know. This year's um, not gone to plan already. Um, oh. <laughs> every time I make a plan, the plan changes. Yeah. Um, but still the same stuff, and um, I'm planning on um, filming a show as well up oh, north. Cool. Yeah. So we're just trying to put all the pieces together, um, but at the moment just waiting to see what happens um, with with COVID and not Water putting too much and, energy yeah. into stuff um, yeah. for it to be put back again. So. Yes, yeah. Mm. yeah, we're the same. We get it totally. <laughs> <laughs> so have you? You haven't seen your family for a while. Yeah, so COVID. 2018, I was yeah. there. Okay. Mm. Yeah. 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 Well, let's hope you get to do that soon. I know. Can't wait. Okay, so we're going to do a lightning round with Sophie. So the rules are mm -hmm. one one answer out of two. I give you two choices, and it, this is if it was the rest of your life, oh. and you've just got to choose one thing or another. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Scrambled or fried? Scrambled. <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> <laughs> um, Italian or Asian food? Oh, Italian. <laughs> I would expect you to like say that, too, right? So that I know, tough. right? It's a hard one. <laughs> Restaurant or cooking school? Working. Oh, oh. <laughs> cooking school. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> beach or swimming pool? Six metre with a jet. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> uh, beach, definitely. Beach. Yeah. yeah. Do you go to the beach a lot? Yeah, take my dog. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. You look really, really tan. I do. I've been going to the swimming pool as well, yeah. but I can't take the dog to the swimming pool, no. so he gets upset. <laughs> Australia or Cornwall? That was really mean. <laughs> <laughs> so I choose, I'm a citizen as of yes. a few months ago, oh, so I've yeah, chosen to be in Australia. Yeah. Um, as long as I can go back to Cornwall, I'll be Australia. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. I'll take that. 
<laughs> I get my own chat. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> that sounds perfect. Oh, well, I wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you so much for thank being you for with us me. on the Insider Club and with all the beautiful recipes that you made today. We really appreciate it. Oh, it's been good fun. All the best. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank thank you. you. <laughs>